straight away on the nose, um, the Bunner Harbour is definitely more rich. It's um, definitely stronger, and uh, there seems to be more flavour. The um, the Bumor, uh definitely has more of a citrus tang to it than the Bunner Harbour does. Um, the Bunner Harbour seems to be very red fruit dominant, um, so you get a fruit compote, um, a jam pudding. Um, you know the the, the fruits are um, raspberry, cherry, maybe a bit of blackcurrant in there. Um, it's, it's 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 very rich and dark fruity. The bumor is a bit lighter, but definitely peatier. Getting orange, lemon. The, the two um, cherry dialers, the the difference in taste is, for the nose at least, is um, quite big. The Bumor is definitely more coastal, uh, more of your classic Isla notes coming through. Salty, briny, very peaty, very smoky. And the Bumor 12 is 40%, whereas the Bunner Harbin is 46.3%. And the Bunner Harbin is also um, no added colour and uh, no chill filtration, so that's something to consider. Um, the Bumor cost me. Twenty-five pounds on offer on Amazon, um, but normally retails thirty-five to forty pounds. The Bunner Harbour normally retails at forty pounds, and I bought it for thirty-five. So um, the Bumor cost me slightly less, but um, mostly they're at roughly the same price. I think if um, you're more into your Islas and you prefer those classic Isla notes. You're going to prefer the Bumor on the nose at least. But then again, if you're going for a sherry dialer, you'd probably prefer the Bunner Harbour. The sherry notes are a lot stronger, a lot more present. It's a lot deeper, it's a lot richer. That's what I was missing on the nose. Classic Isla notes are coming through on the taste. Uh, a lot of marine notes, briny, salty. Very strong caramelised nuts, which I really like on a on a on a whiskey. Really like the Bumor 12. It tastes a lot like um, your, your normal everyday Isla, but there's um, a strawberry note that I get in the Bumor 12 that a lot of my friends don't get. So I don't know if it's correct or not, but I definitely get a strawberry note in there on the on the taste. Um, but it's um, it's more of an artificial sweetness, like a, um, a, a hard-boiled sweet, a strawberry-flavoured hard-boiled sweet. The Bunner Harbin is definitely more real fruit uh, dominant. Citrus notes still, smoke. And all that comes through on the taste as well. A little bit more ashy, the Bumor, um, due to it tasting a little bit more like an Isla. A bit more coastal, a bit more grassy.
the Bunner Harbin is more wood present than the Bumore. It's definitely more wood present. And there's a little bit of raisin in there as well. So a little bit of dried fruit in there. It's really nice. Really nice. I'm going to add some water. On the nose, I think the Bumore actually gets uh, a little bit more wood present as well. Once you add the water, it, the wood the wood notes aren't very present uh, before that. A little bit less sweet, a little bit more ashy. The taste is more subdued. You get um, a, a more honeyed note in the Bumore. Um, the Bunner Harbin is definitely drier than the Bumore. But for a 40%, the Bumore 12 does stand up to a little bit of water. Okay, the caramelised nuts are coming through on the nose now. Um, they weren't before, but once you open it up a little bit with a little bit of water. And, and that's a note I really like. Almost an almond in there. Gets more creamy, gets more woody, but also gets more creamy. A little less oily. I really like both of these with water, which um, normally I'm a, a whiskey drinker that likes the whiskey neat. These two stand up to water really well. More grassy notes on the more with the water on the nose. A lot less sherried. Def for two sherried islas, if you like your sherried islas, you, you want the Bunner Harbin for sure. But then again, if you like Islas and you want to try a Sherried Isla that's not too Sherried, the, the Bumore 12 is fantastic. And for £25, really one of the best uh, Van Thea Bulk whiskies out there. I think, um, all in all, the Bunner Harbin is priced a little bit higher, but not much. You know, thirty-five pound, high thirties. Um, both twelve-year-old whiskies, but forty-six percent instead of forty percent. It's definitely more complex. Uh, no chill filtration, no added colour. The the Bunner Harbin's going to take this one for sure.